more. Yep. <laughs> Get a drink. I'm parched. Give a fellow a nickel. I hey, know you've buddy. been tanned. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Uh. Yeah. Dutch? 
Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! <clears throat> What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Easy! I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. You look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off it. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for it. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Man, he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, uh, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about market. It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Slow down. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Here we are. Even. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. <laughs> Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike. A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're dullards. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> and leave this fool alone. 
Leave the fool alone. People have been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm bored with being left alone. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. <laughs> Lenny, where are you? your mouth, mister. Anywhere! 
Cheers. Not you again. There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. Either you fools got any money, it's $10 and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see either you around here no more. So, that was a quiet drink? The first one was pretty quiet. <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. At least it took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna have a little sit down and feel sorry for myself. and I wouldn't recognize you. I got some bad news. This West brings the late morning, sir. Most definitely. Great for sales.
It's me, Arthur. Good to see you back. Dutch, I need you to do me a favor. Nothing too serious. I need you to help Herr Strauss. I've been working hard, Dutch. I know. And I know Strauss's business is not too glamorous, but it pays. Please, son, for me. Okay. John Marston. Don't I know it? Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. Uh, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. Miss Robbins. Ah, Mr. Morgan. You seem chipper. Take a look at this. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own?
Well, planning left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. You borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Oh. Where is it? Oh. oh, no. No, nie, nie. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. God damn it, you have a debt to Harry Strauss. Pay up. Stop! You still mam siły. Ah! No, 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 no. Please, no. No have money, but but I have this. It's, it's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Better be something somewhere. Very valuable. Good? Not good yet. about cover things. Yeah. 
coming in. I ain't even gonna ask where you've been. Yes, Arthur? That's my boy. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know.